Heard you like your radio, just like you like your coffee. Just, just like you like your coffee. Hot, black, and sexy. The Coffee Gang on Hot 93.3. Lagos. Heard you like your radio, just like you like your coffee. Just, just like you like your coffee. Hot, black, and sexy. The Coffee Gang on Hot 93.3. Lagos. Hot 93.3. We have my man, my brother, Skills in the yeah, studio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scalo. Wagwan, Wagwan is Mr. Love. No, <laughs> Mr. Love. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Mr. Love because of the album, right? Yeah, man. The album, and you know, um, I, you know, like this, my, I would say my New Year resolution was, you know, just all, just to promote love everywhere I go, you know. No wait, wait, hate, if you're promoting nothing. love, that means you have found love. Or join. Now, like, <laughs> it's join. not an I have found love. You know what I'm saying? You know, love, there's love in Christ, there's love in the, my Bro- job. Brotherly, love that's in making thing. money, uh-huh. you know, and all that kind You're of stuff. You're trying to dodge the question. You know, that's so happy. It's true, it's true. Yeah, it's true, it's true. It's true, it's true. It's true. It's true. I have oh, yeah. found love. Oh, yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, yeah, let's do the air shake. He hasn't done the quote, uh, the, the, oh, he hasn't yeah, taken we, the oath yet. We take an oath okay. scales on Truth Tuesday to say the truth, nothing but the truth to help us God and do an air shake to it. Oh, yeah, let's go. You probably say the truth, nothing but the truth to help you God? Yeah, what am I supposed to say, amen? He said yes. Yes. Oh, yeah, to air shake on it. Let's air shake on it. Air shake, air shake. Air shake on it. Okay. So that's it. So first question: Who is the person you're in love with? Oh Who are you? And yes, that's the first question. <laughs> okay, but I'm not talking about your mother, your family members. I'm talking about a female. Have you found love on that regard? If I call her name, I'm gonna get in trouble. It's going to be very controversial. So Why? <laughs> Why? You have to be proud of because her. because it's an artist, you know. So oh. and you know we're on a low right now. Okay, so well, hey, yeah. How, so, let's talk. how does it feel dating someone in the same industry as you? Because people it's, say it doesn't it actually, work. It's, it's, it's a bad thing. Re- it's actually really amazing so when the album comes out we have like quite a lot of songs together because you know we're hanging out together so we're always in the studio together and I'm, I'm not sure if she's going to is like this. Is she in the charts right now? We promised not to like let nobody know anything. Until so the album comes out. Even if the album comes out, nobody's supposed to know anything. Eh. But anyway, um, yeah, it's, it's just an artist because I'm just. But I'm. I can't call her name. I promise. Okay, we'll, call, we'll we'll let you go on that one. Yeah. But dating an artist, do you think with with what people say as regards people in the entertainment industry shouldn't date themselves? Do you think that's just bollocks or? Yeah, I think it's um. I think it's just. It's, is rubbish it's, yeah Im- immaturity you know like it's all about like uh, understanding you know and support for each other and the fact that you guys are even in the same field even makes it better you know so, yeah um you know that okay yeah this, he has to do what he has to do and uh you guys still have time for each other because our, our you know our kind of job is not like it's nine to five no it's even not. though we know it's kind of harder than nine to five because <laughs> you know you have like ah, ah. you have like a whole world to please <laughs> and yeah. all that kind of stuff and sleepless nights and you have to make sure your work is excellent all the time and you have to be consistent every time and so but yeah i mean it's just basically understanding friendship and uh you know the fact that we're both like um fat big huge fans of each other you know so oh that that's that definitely will help yes yeah, so being a fan of the person you that you're in love with missy yeah, yeah. <laughs> so um you said she's gonna be on your next album, right? Oh my god! I know you're trying to go and look for the name. I'm no, looking no, at no, this. No, no, no. I'm respecting your decision, but is yes. she in the charts right now? Um, no, nah, she's not in the charts right now. Cause, um, funny enough, we're like working on her stuff together. Like, okay. you know, basically, you know, as as the guy in her life now. So I'm kind of like. The, I'm just trying to like help fix the, the sound, change a lot of things and stuff like that. But um, I, I, I promise you, you would never ever know. Maybe one day you find out. But so you're co-producing we'll find the new that, album. Yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah, we're working together. You know, nice. we're working together because um, people don't know about, know this about me, but I'm also like a music writer. Like, come I've, on, I've written you're songs. Music, for, uh, I've written songs for like. I've written songs for like. This is I've written songs for like. Um, no, but of course I'm going to get paid. I'm going to get money from it, you know. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, I've written business. songs for like big artists, like you know, like from them DJ Snake, uh, you know. But those are things that people don't know to major okay. laser. Okay. Please like, list it. Are you, you have serious? to. You have yeah. to okay, list go on, it. Go on, so, go on, go on, go on. Tell us. Yeah, it's, so it's, I've, I've been get your accolades, brother. Yeah, you know, yeah. Because a lot of people don't so, give scales the, the kind of yeah, accolades that he even, deserves. Even Nigerian artists, there's a lot of them that I've written songs for. Her, and yeah. Even there's a legend. I don't. I, I'm not permitted right now because he's supposed to be the one to announce it himself. That, okay. You know, he's about to bounce back. I'm sure he's like loved by everybody. Mm-hmm. Um. 
it's not two face. I'm thinking so, it's so Ange. Uh, the case. Let's continue. <laughs> <laughs> the case close. <laughs> so yeah. So um, yeah. He put. He just put out. He put out a song. You know. I was. I co-wrote that one, and there's other ones coming again. Is it Banga? Is it Banga? Hey. No, no, no. Let's let's let's, <laughs> let's um, just keep moving, right? Yeah, let's okay, keep okay, moving. Okay. You know, Mr. Love, my album is coming out soon too. Uh, yeah. hey. we'll, 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 we'll talk about Mr. Love more after this. You know, we'll play a song from Skills, guys. Remember, get on our WhatsApp page zero eight one eight hundred eight double nine double three. Get on Twitter, WhatsApp, Instagram. It is Hot FM underscore Lagos. Catch us live in the studio, Hot FM dot ng, and see what's happening. We got Mr. Love in the studio. Don't know. Looking all lovely. We did try. And also <laughs> gushing about the one he's in love with. Oh, yeah. Oh I'm in love with me. <laughs> Heard you like your radio just like you like your coffee. Just, just like you like your coffee. Hot, black, and sexy. The Coffee Gang on Hot 93.3. Lagos. Skills in the studio, Mr. Love. Music from him, Pete Weekend, 9.46 yeah, yeah. a.m. It's the Coffee Gang in the morning. Missy and Sensei, Hot 93.3 FM. Lagos is number one radio station. We are visual radio, guys. We're not just only vis- uh, audio. Skills, let them know. HotFM.ng. Put it up on Instagram. Put it up straight on Snapchat. Up, up, Put it up everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere. Let them know. Like, it's everywhere right now. It's okay. Know. So let's get into, let's get into Mr. Love. Yeah. When 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 did you realize and how did you put the music together for this album? Because since it's a love album, I'm yeah. guessing you're going in a particular direction with the music. Yeah. And how did you put the music together? Which because I know you record, 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 record yeah. lots. So how do you go about that process? Um, honestly, um, I honestly didn't pl- I, the whole thing started like I would say last month. Yeah. Because my album was supposed to be called the the heart album. Oh, the hot album. Okay. So, but um, yeah. So um, I you know I just thought it was um on Valentine's Day. I just I was bored, so I decided to just buy it. You know, because I was like. That, that time I was not seeing who I'm seeing now. You know? I, 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 I wanted <laughs> to ask, so, why would you be bored on yeah, Valentine's so, Day when so, you're in love? So I just took, um, I took, like, I just uh, bought a ticket and I went to Kaduna to go see my mom. Like, she didn't know I was coming, I just showed up, you know, so. Nice one. Yeah, so, and yeah, if you know, if you've been following me, you know, like, my mom has been sick for like two, three years now. You yeah. Know? She's had stroke and stuff. So yeah, and she's like, like, the only family I got. I'm like the only child of my mom and stuff like that. So, I just realized like how much love, you know, like just being with her, chilling with her, like how much love can just change like a person, you know, like I know like she was really sad and stuff, but was, as I showed up, like she was so happy, like the maid and everybody were just telling me like, yo, what happened? Like your mom is just so happy all of a sudden and stuff like that. So, you know, it just inspired me and not only her, like I also like visited, I went to my school, like seeing my teachers that used to teach me before. Like seeing their situations, like I was like, man, and just me being there, and you know, they was just so happy, just the love, you know, like the fact that they're inspired by, yeah, you know, I came through. So I was like, yo, you know what? I'm calling my album Mr. Love, like, I'm gonna promote more love and mm. you know, less hate and less like envy and stuff. It's just okay. all about love, basically. So I guess that's what inspired it, honestly. Okay. I didn't, I wasn't recording songs towards it then. When I just got that name, I was like, you know what? Let me just channel the album towards it. And as a matter of fact, I decided to shoot um a, a, a album cover yeah. with my mom on it. And yeah, I saw yeah. it. I so saw like it this on this this nice. album basically because like I said, it was inspired by my mom. So I mean, it doesn't mean that I was singing songs about my mom. Yeah, but I was singing songs about about love. But the whole idea is the reason why I call myself Mr. Love is. The first true and real love any human being can ever experience in life is from it's from your mother, mother you know. Okay. So basically, that's why that's the whole representation of it. Oh, wow, okay, that's guys, amazing. we're gonna hear more from Skills as regards the Mr. Love album. We're going for a quick commercial break. Remember your comments on WhatsApp zero eight one eight hundred eight double nine double three. The Coffee Gang still here. Heard you like your radio, just like you like your coffee, just, just like you like your coffee. Hot, black, and sexy. The Coffee Gang on Hot 93.3, Lagos. Uh, so let, let's go back to what we were talking about. Okay. Our Truth Tuesday, basically, yes. is about, okay, the question is uh, of the day is, um, have you ever been in love with an ex while getting into another relationship with your current situation? So let me ask you that question, because you know you happen to mention a little something yeah. about your ex yeah. while we were off air. So yeah. do you want to share that with the people? Yeah, man. Yo, you know, like... 
if you say you love someone, mm-hmm. love doesn't just die just like that. You okay. know, if you love someone, you still love them, even regardless. Um, right. you guys are not together, and um, maybe you want to move on. Yeah, you know that feeling is still gonna be there. It's yeah, just yeah. for you to say, okay, no, no mm-hmm. more. Now I'm committed to a new person. Let me just focus. You know, we could be cool and all that. Mm-hmm. And you know, because I still believe in like you know. Peace, love. you know, maturity, love, yeah. you know, we still see each other and still say, hey, yeah, we used to have something, yeah, but we're cool now. And there's no tension with like no the new, tension, the no new, nothing. the new. Thing. I mean, I don't know about if my exes have tensions low key, but you know, <laughs> I, miss, I miss the love, you know, Mr. Love. But, You've been through some nasty relationships. So. Yo, you know, so yeah, I, that's why, see, the experience is what builds this Mr. Love now, you understand? So now I, I feel like, you know, I'm Dr. Love now. I could just Ooh, like tell you, you know, I like that. I could tell you things. I'm just joking, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, you know, but I, I've kind of like figured out some things, you know, because, you know, the good thing is I experienced everything really early because I came into this industry as a very, you know, yeah, I was a teenager mm-hmm. and, you know, so I've seen it all, done it all. So I'm just growing and getting better now, knowing mistakes that, I, you know, all the mistakes I, I committed before that I shouldn't do again, finding, figuring out ways to be better. As a human being and even in relationships too, you know. Okay. Yeah. Let, let's, go, career, yeah. let's go back to the love album. So who were the people that you were in love with to feature on the album that you know that you were like, Okay, you know what? I love this person's music, I love this person's yeah. attitude, I love the person's vibe yeah. and you know, I wanna put them on the album. <clears throat> and why? Yeah. Why those people? Um, honestly, um, like I said, there was no like oh because I love this person. If if it was possible for me to feature the whole industry, I'll feature the whole industry, you know, because <laughs> you know I'm a huge fan of everybody in the in the industry. Because trust me, it's not beans to you know enter the studio and make songs. Yeah, and especially in Nigeria, that you know, you know, it's difficult to impress anybody because everybody is going through a tough time, you know, <laughs> and all that stuff. So yeah, and to be able to have that ability to get into the studio and make something that's gonna you know create happiness. For Niger- uh, for people people like Nigerians is a big deal to me because I feel like you see if you can impress Nigerians, you can impress anybody in this world. You know that? Yeah, yeah, tell so, me about. So it. yeah, but um, yeah, it's all love at the end of the day. But um, these are the people that I made songs with. Um, from yeah, Fino, big shout out to Fino. As a matter of fact, Fino is on all my albums. Uh, it's shocking that Bona didn't make this album because Bona was not. Uh, Bona was hard to find. <laughs> <laughs> Last time I saw Bona was three days ago, and he tried. He traveled the next day again. Yeah. So yeah, he's been hard to find. So because me and Bona usually what we do is we're always in the same studio together when we're making tracks. So we're able to like sit down and you know just come up with like ideas together. Design the music yeah, together so, and yeah. how we flow. Yeah. So, so big shout out to Fino and big shout out to Sakodi. By the way, you know me and Sakodi had a big one. Uh, booty language The remix You know yeah It was a hit yeah. The funny thing is um, Sakodi wasn't meant To be on that song It was just The song I recorded And I shot the video Already in, in London This was last year So I went for a concert In London And you know We ran into each other At a bar While having drinks And you know I was like Oh I, I, My album is ready Listen to this song So I gave him headphones In the, in the bar And he was like Oh So I played Booty language He was like ah, I like this one how far make a drop verse now jokingly i just he said email it to me i just went to my email i emailed it to him and um i was i was on my way to like an interview in london and i just got a voice note from sakodi he was rapping his verse for me wow. telling me he's on his way to the airport as soon as he gets to ghana he's gonna record and send to me jokingly i was like ah, this guy is serious too. and before you know my email i just saw the verse i was like ah. just like that you know so and that's and, how it and that's that's why i really like respect him because you know he's I, f- I feel like he's a legend and the hunger is still that much you know because who am i you know, you know i respect him a lot i mean i know i've tried you know i've built a name a brand for myself but you know sakodi is one of those people i see like really up there that's taking music really high Even, forget the fact that he's Ghanaian or anything i feel like it's all one africa at the end of the day yeah and he's doing such a great job like this guy is Hungry man, you understand? Like he inspires me, so I sent a track to him. I just hit him up. And I was like, "Yo, I heard this song. I have this song, and I, I can all I can hear is you on this song." He was like, "Oh, he sent it to me." I sent it to him like five, six hours later. I got an email. I was like, "Ah, ah. Wow. again, you know, nice. and delivering." He and I did it. That artist will be wasting time. No, 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 please. I, I didn't say anything. He did say it. I know. Hold up, hold up, hold up. No, we'll, we'll, we'll complete that list in a couple of minutes, yeah. and we'll also be taking your messages on yeah. Twitter at sort of them underscore Lagos. So many of them coming in um, as we get them refreshed. Okay, so guys, remember hot FM underscore Lagos on Twitter. WhatsApp is zero eight one eight hundred eight double nine three.
three. Heard you like your radio, just like you like your coffee. Just, just like you like your coffee. Hot, black, and sexy. The Coffee Gang on Hot 93.3. Lagos. That thing happened, uh, you walking out of an interview. Yeah. And <laughs> how, for me, it was just ridiculous. Cause yeah, it's, like, it's, 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 it's immature. Like, I, you know, I've, this is like the first time I'm actually talking about it because... You know, I promised myself not to talk about it because I'm Mr. Love. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I honestly, know. the reason why I really didn't react is because, um, you know, I just, I just wanted to like, just, I don't want to promote like war, or, you know, violence, yeah. or anything, you know. So it's just best to just walk away. <laughs> yeah, basically. But um, the good thing is, I would, I just want to give a big shout out to everybody because honestly, it's like everybody was on my side and everybody showed showed me a lot of love after watching a lot of support. The clip. Yeah, the full you know, I was, you just know that you know I was ambushed, definitely. <laughs> yeah. and um, that was very, very unprofessional. And I, I'm, I'm going to say this, man, because I really don't care about the the net ng. I, th- I think it's a very crap company, you know, and they okay. need to shut down. They 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 bo- they are rubbish. You oh, understand? Okay. Like, and they they don't really follow the real ethics of John, journalism and all that. They they just look for ways to ruin other people to create stories and that's really bad and I know they're going to try to write more stuff because you know what, what's crazy about them Yeah. Now, I'm going to tell you this story now because I'm Mr. Love though yeah. I have love for them but I'm going to say it as it is anytime people you don't understand? do the right thing you have to just yeah, call it because they like, call it out too you know so they called me out they try to you know they try to obviously ambush me because that interview was obviously an ambush everybody saw it and I want to say thank you to my fans for showing me love but honestly um like it's very unprofessional for you to bring an artist and argue with the artist as a journalist and yeah. look at we have look at we're having an interview for Christ's sake like see how the free flow is you know you ask me the truth and I'm telling you you know what I know and you you know that's how is an interview is supposed to be not tell me to come for an interview to talk about my album and you're arguing with me and even your interviewer does not know the definition of a smash hit a classic a John's mm-hmm. done so I feel like you with yeah like acts and all that yeah nice. like and that's even it's see trust me if this was inter- international I could sue them you know but you know a lot of people want me to do that but I just like you know forget about it it's Mr. Love at the end of the day let's move on you know? I'm, I've been unstoppable from day one yeah so they still can stop me and yeah like I, they, they, yeah, I totally forgot about this other thing I was going to say so after that after they saw that everybody was showing me love and support do you know these people still went ahead and put oh, most anticipated album and percentages they put zero percent just because they still wanted to make wow. me look stupid you know and that's why i'm saying the net ng is crap i feel like the net ng is cancelled honestly every artist that listen that, that is listening to me right now don't pay attention to those people they they're they're just they i don't even have a perfect name to call them right now but <laughs> god bless their soul and god <laughs> help them you know god help them but that company, as far as I'm concerned, is cancelled. Do you understand? So, you, you, why, why do you... Because I feel a lot of people always come after you. I, people the, just want to do that. Come it, after I, skills. It's greatness, With man. With everything you know, you've, you've, you've know, accomplished. I, I won't lie to you. I've been emotional before, like, because of that reason. Cause yeah. I, I know who I am. Like, I've, I'm very peaceful. Like, you know, I'm, a, I'm that kind of person that you match me 10 times. I walk away and not say anything. You get my friends that come and be fighting. I'll tell them free. He gets... So, um, I've, I just feel like if you are not great, if you're not somebody in life, like nobody will really talk about you or True. try to do anything to stop you, you know? Because, listen, my story should be like a, it's an inspiration. It's, I even inspire myself, honestly, you know? Yeah. Because even my mom tells me that story that that's, I inspire that's, that's her, you know? That's the quote. That's one of our quotes for this morning. You know? So, be the inspiration you see. Yeah, you know? So, like, because like, people, people don't know what I've been through, but if I tell you my story... I'm sure you won't be able to like continue to show. You probably just break down because my story is really deep, you know. But um, just write a book about it, man. It's just all about like you know. First of all, most importantly, God's grace. Yeah. And um, yeah, just the fact that uh, I le- I got the spirit from my mom, like not giving up no matter what, because you know I was I was brought up by a single parent and we're very broke. <laughs> you know, understand? But, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So and um, most and again, yeah, a lot of people like you showed me love. And uh, you guys, you know, you guys pr- practically showed me love and made me who I am and the growth and, you know, the exposure you guys gave me, you know, the, I feel like the more hate, the more exposure the media even helps me, you know, to get out there and stuff. So, honestly, I just, I would just say I just pr- 
inspired I'm proud of myself honestly because I feel like I inspire myself because regardless of the huddles the barrier the whatever they set for me you know I still cross over and it's like every year is a new it's new level It's a new level Like <laughs> Oh you want to say something Missy? Yeah I know I'm sorry Because you guys have just been Going back and yeah, forth and Sorry about yeah. that I don't want to take you All the way back But mm. I just want to Quickly recap And ask you a question About that interview You did mm. at the Netanji yeah. What was it exactly That he said That upset you I mean the fact that He was attacking me Okay yeah. He asked me a question That about Oh he the, said He would, didn't like my song Yeah But he language Yeah I'm like okay cool You don't like it That's your opinion mm-hmm. Other people like it mm-hmm. And he started arguing That oh what makes you think I'm like bro What's up man Yeah <laughs> Then he started comparing me And Jay Z That's when I knew That this is This that guy is actually That's a why they person. were out They were just out <laughs> yeah. To get you basically now, Apart from getting me He's actually very uneducated And he doesn't know What he's doing Because mm-hmm. for you to compare me And Jay Z in the first place shows you're very dumb mm. <laughs> you understand like All you right. get me and for you not to even know the definition of a classic how can you drop a song today and call it a classic yeah. you know what a classic is Whitney Houston is a classic yeah. Beyonce like from way back from Bella. Destiny's Child yeah. Bella is a classic, classic. Yeah. you know Smash Hit is a song you drop today and boom it's, it's everywhere yeah. Davido is a smash hit Assurance is a smash hit mm-hmm. You know Like the same day is everywhere Like I'm Like this is like Layman this definition I'm giving So everybody could really understand What it is And this but, is how you need I to I mean I don't them. I don't know it all Like I really don't know it all Because honestly I'm learning every day Because honestly Even just having that Doing that interview Actually even made me a better man Okay Because now I know that I can face people like that And not overreact And not react anymore Because Trust me, it was other people that I know of. Uh-huh. Somebody, somebody would have ended up in the hospital. You think they would have gotten up <laughs> yeah. and slapped them across yeah. the face, right? Yeah. And I, I was so thankful that I didn't bring my whole team that day. <laughs> so because it would have been a mess. Okay. You know, and like I said, it's all about love at the end of the day. You know, I forgive them. But even though the net is cancelled, I forgive them. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you shut them down. You just cancelled. You shut them down. They're, they're, just, they're, they're done. Yeah. Okay. Right. Let, let's, done. Let's, let's forget about that for I now. I know they're going to come for me. Like I'm ready for them to God bless Yeah, them. man. Okay, Dr. Love. Dr. Yeah. Love is yeah. in the house. Dr. Love. Mr. Ab- Love. Mr. Yeah. Love. The yeah. album is out in June. Yeah, June. Yeah. What, when precisely? What date? Um, what date? June 19th. Yeah, is that um, significant? The NG, I know you're very... I know you're getting ready to write like a lot of uh, like bad reviews about my album but big shout out to you I would love for you to, you guys to say my album is nonsense I love it God bless you Dines and G I'm actually throwing because I want them to know that I know what they're doing you know so yeah. but yes June 19th most importantly my fans like people that support me you know let's forget about the negativity honestly I was just joking you know so <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah um yeah, I want to say a big thank you to everybody that has been supporting me thus far. This is my third album. And most importantly, my record label, Baseline. I want to say a big shout out to Baseline for, you know, for backing me up no matter what. You know, we've been up and down, back and forth, but we keep growing together. So big shout out to Baseline, my manager, Color Tunes, uh, my Color PR, Tunes. you know, my team from Chopsticks to Echo to all the producers to JP Zoo. For all the work and you know all the support, like even when things are not going well for everybody, they're always there, you yeah. know. So I want to say a big shout out to them, and of course, Hot FM for having me. Yeah, and this is the first time I, I'm actually even it's talking about this, the this of interview because honestly. You know, I didn't want to talk about this Dinette, but you know, I have to just talk about them one time and one time only. So all about this is the last here. time I'm going to talk about them. I'm all about love. So, but well, you get cancelled with love. Thank you so much for coming uh, through, man. Yeah, yeah, always a fantastic you, time you having you on the show. It. Thanks anytime. for having me, man. Hot anytime. FM, hot <laughs> FM. They don't know. <laughs> Miss Molu, Sensei. I'm sorry, everybody. I don't know your name, but God bless you guys. You know, let's have a great day. Mr. Love is in the building. Mr. Love, my album. Album, June nineteenth coming out. They show me a lot, a lot of love. Let's make it number one everywhere, Amen. you know. And let's not let the bad belly people. I call them Yamayama people, you know. <laughs> affect it, you know. It's all about love. God bless you. Thank. You. Heard you like your radio, just like you like your coffee, just, just like you like your coffee. Hot, black, and sexy. The Coffee Gang on Hot ninety three point three, Lagos.